Hi, it's Adrienne. How are you doing today? So I'm back uh, with a new Glam Light palette that I thought I'd go ahead and share with you. So as far as what I have on today, I went ahead and started with the Glow Oil by Supergoop. And then I added in a combination of these two. This is the Glow Filter by Beauty Bay in the light shade. And then the Revolution Skin Silk in the F2 shade. So I went ahead and did uh, both of those today. And I uh, used the MAC Bronzer and Light Radiant Rosy as well. <clears throat> the Master Chrome as far as my highlighter. And then as far as what I went ahead and did with the um, actual blush. And this is the highlighter, so that's the Master Chrome. And then with the blush, I went ahead and mixed the Elf and Mauve and the color pop and let's dance so that's what i have on there so these two are what i have on as far as the blush goes today and then as far as what else i did i used the usual which is a thick and wow by essence and caramel blonde for the brows and then the falsies by maybelline as far as the mascara goes and so um, the only other thing I used was Glowish, and I went ahead and used that for my finishing powder. I have it in Fair, and so that's what I did there. And um, as far as the palette itself, it comes in a really cute collectible box that has one of those magnetic closures on it. And then you'll go ahead and open it up. And that's what it looks like on the inside. It does go ahead and have their holographic imaging on it. So, oh, and yeah, this is really cute. It's, um, here, let's see if we can put it maybe on here so you can see it a little bit better on here. It has um, all sorts of, like, fire and stuff on the, on the little piece of plastic that comes in there to protect the shadows. And this is actually holographic, so it's kiss, and then you turn it and it says rock and roll, and then, yeah. So that's, again, Glamlight does amazing packaging that's really cute. And um, as far as the way that the palette actually looks on the inside, this is the way that it looks. Um, I do have it on my eyes today. I used mainly this blue row up here. So I used white on the inner corner, uh, this one on the lid. Then I went ahead and used a combination of these two on um, the outer corner and went ahead and used this one uh, for my actual eyeliner. So the way that it turned out, it's kind of like this. And um, the dark colors are really dark in this palette. In fact, I did some swatches because I was kind of concerned about some of the dark colors. And so this is how my swatches turned out. So, um, yeah, on this one, um, I did a black swatch, and it ended up with a little bit of pink in there, so I did another black swatch just to let you know. There are a couple of colors like this one, and this one is actually really pretty burgundy, but it's coming off black. And um, I think what they did was they went ahead and used a black base on it, it's, um, well, actually, it's this color right here. And it does have some shimmer, but the shimmer doesn't show up because the base, which I think is black, is so dark. Um, there are a couple of other colors. Uh, these two, again, they have a lot of shimmer in them. They're very pretty, but if you pack them on, they can come off as black because the shimmer isn't showing up as well. And that's just what I've noticed from putting it on my eyes. And um, it's uh, if you sure it out, I think they'll work a little bit better. But they're so dark, and I, I have a feeling that there's not as much shimmer and pigment as there is black base in them. So they can really, if you pack them on, they're probably going to come out black is just the only thing that I can see at this point. Um, other than that, the colors and the pigment are beautiful. They really do. Let's see which one. Okay. So, um, yeah, 
it's it is a very pretty palette and um, there are just those three shades in there that just yeah aren't working exactly right um, but okay so what we're here to see the kiss palette by Glamlight, and yes they did go ahead and do their holographic packaging so it says rock and roll and then you put it into different light and it shows kiss and rock and roll and kiss and it is what i have on my eyes today this is the palette itself um i have this on the inner corner this on the lid these two right here on the outer corner and then this one is my eyeliner today and the nice thing is that the way that it's set up you can go ahead and do that all the way through um, I have noticed with this palette that the dark shades are really 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 dark um, to the point where you might want to go ahead and just put them on lightly because I have a feeling that if you pack them on they're gonna go really dark almost to maybe being black and I'm talking about this shade and then these two right here they just they are definitely colors based on black and they go really dark and um, it's not that you can't work with them it's just that you might want to go ahead and apply them lightly to go ahead and get more color and more color and more shimmer and less opaqueness so that would be my thought on that. I am looking forward to using it during the summertime because I think um, there are a whole bunch of shades in here that I can use to go ahead and um, build a base for a look. And I love doing that with the Glam Light Shadows is going ahead and building the base for a, a punchy shimmer or something that I've just found. And so, yeah. Uh, the glam light formula tends to be really good the shimmers tend to be really good there's a ton of pigment in their formulas and um, I can't wait to keep on playing with it and um, so this is my first impression and so far I'm really liking it as usual I mean the packaging on anything that glam light does is pretty amazing they always do and and they're doing mostly cardboard so it's it's not gonna sit, sit in a landfill forever which is something that I really appreciate and I think that's just about all for this first impression video and I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope that you have a great day